Hey there folks, welcome to Archer Shack Shop Talk 151. I'm Jeremy. I'm TJ. I'm Bobby. And for Bobby, we've got this. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, we're happy to have Bobby with us here. He just went outside and sold a Genesis bow and come in here like a beast. We have absolutely nothing to talk about. Except Prime sent modules after two months of having bows and no modules. <laughs> okay. What else? <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> it's been a boring week. Yeah. Our online sales is going good from the videos that we're doing on the adapts and the legits. I gotta get Bobby some volume here. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I see why not. Try that again. I said we're having Oh yeah. We're having some good luck with the videos from the adapts and the legits. We're getting a lot of interest in from people and getting orders in. Yeah. We um so what we do, y'all maybe, maybe not seen our videos, but we take these bear bows that are great bows except for the string on them. The peeps twist. We put our own in-house strings on them, put a regular peep in it, set them up, tune them, ship them out, and people love it so far. So we'll be making more videos. We got one out on the legit, one, a couple on the adapt. Got to knock out some more, some Royale info and some this, that, and other. We've had a lot of questions about the XR, Legend XR, and the Execute. I'm going to set up an Execute to play with myself, so hopefully I can video that whole process and see what else we can do there's a 3d shoot this coming weekend at tab if you're local down in gray court check them out um i think they're on facebook and i don't know if they mm -hmm. got a website but you can go to scaa archery google that and it'll show you all the clubs just click on tab but 3d shoot 25 targets it'll be fun yep we're gonna try to make it we'll see what happens with the weather and everything mm -hmm. um so that'll be good. Nims is the over in Fran France. France. <laughs> the France. The France. Yeah. They're shooting right now, I think. <clears throat> yeah. I don't even know. I seen something where Kyle Douglas made qualification round the other day. I don't think Paige is in it. I ain't 100%. I hadn't seen a whole lot. I hadn't. I've seen a few little updates, but I don't really keep up with it. Yep. And then the Lancaster Classic is next week, too. Mm -hmm. So I'll be glued watching that. I like the way they do their shoot down format. I think it's more modern than anything else. You know what I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. Lane, the uh, not Lancaster, the the Vegas shoot. You know, has been around forever and it's cool. And they still got the little shoot off thing. But mm -hmm. like with them getting up and shooting head to head and all that sort of thing is well thought out at Lancaster. Yeah, it is. It is very. I could see it's just going to keep growing. I think. I do too. Um, I had a few bows dropped off today. A few bows picked up this that and the other so that's that's a good thing um really i got from our ata videos there wasn't any one in particular thing that everybody after last week was asking about we answered a few people i think in the comments mm -hmm. but uh i still hadn't heard why expedition randomly left there on day two that morning i hadn't either other than they didn't have one of those bows to shoot but i hadn't heard i guess this has kind of died off i hadn't heard anything else probably um i did get pricing on that bow doodle influence rest we'd mentioned the one that supposedly can run off cable or limb and it locks up <clears throat> i think it's going to sell for 260 and we're going to get one and play with it we'll let you know what we think i'm hoping it's a decent rest i don't know i don't either i still i think there's only three videos out there of yeah it. there's this is weird because that should be a pretty big deal yeah and we went to the booth and it wasn't even mentioned to us so it's like yeah, i know i don't know maybe it's one of them well i mean they obviously had one there didn't you say it locked up as well like yeah a qad even on the limb driven mode it'll lock up which is sort of a new from what should, should be a big yeah big deal yeah from what we can understand like i said jeremy said we didn't even know that they had that new rest if they would if they'd have told us I, you know, it's, nothing against them right I'm, I'm not aiming this at any one person but i told tj i'm like at a trade show <laughs> when you walk in the booth 
nobody ever says like this is what's new this year it's just like how y'all doing good to meet you anything y'all want to see it's like well fuck we're here to see the what's new you know what i mean like mm. anyway it just drives me insane and then the the one we already hit this on the head you go in the booth and that one um, in particular like they don't have acknowledged we're there like, don't make eye contact don't make eye contact and it's like why did y'all spend five thousand dollars to set this booth up if you're not going to talk to anybody it, and you know it's one of them it's a two-edged sword because a booth that we don't need that pertains nothing to archery is the one that we get caught with a 10 minute sales pitch yeah and it, the ones that we really need to talk to don't want to talk to us well yeah <clears throat> like you hit that on the head like It'll be somebody selling camouflage adult diapers, and they'll snatch you in there, and you'll be you'll be looking on. We'll be on the phone. Oh, that look over there. You've seen that over yet? Like trying to get away from them, and they're over there just blah 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 blah. Yeah. blah and it's like God Almighty, please let us leave this booth. <laughs> so we like speed walk past those type of people. You know what I mean? And it's nothing against them because I mean people need adult camo diapers. Well. <laughs> We're, we're, and we've said this on plenty of occasions, we're strictly archery. Oops. Keep hitting the mic. Now, if we were into the, you know, if we were selling clothing or deer stands or tree stands or hunting blinds, we would probably pay more attention. And yeah. Get, but we don't. Yeah. I mean, unless the local crowd starts telling us, hey, y'all need to start carrying some of this, this, and this. Yeah. It's just on that stuff, it's hard for us to compete with the box stores. Yeah. Well, just, like back in the day at Bucks and Bass, Dave and Charlie would go hit all that stuff because we did sell it. They'd, they'd make clothing orders and bl- hunting blinds and scents and blah, 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 blah. And I'd hit all the strictly archery stuff, and then we'd meet up at the end of the day and say, hey, here's what all we got. So, mm-hmm. But, yeah, we don't we don't fool any of that. No. And the, the Internet is so hard to compete with on some of that stuff. Yeah, it is. But anyway yeah. – um, not to bring the ATA back up, but yeah, I was just thinking about that, the way people are. I did get to nine restrung and ready to go. I just got to make sure the sight tape's on now. I'm going to get that Execute 32 ready and play with it a time or two. I may That may be my tack bow. Just I'm going to see how it does for me here at one of these local shoots. Yeah. And hopefully get a video, like putting it together and tuning it and that sort of thing. Speeds. We also will get a prime speed video together now that we've got modules yeah um we can kind of give you some ideas on that anything cool no dang it i will say bobby's added to his snack pile <laughs> over there always i mean if you ever come in the shop and you're just a you're little hungry, bit hungry just talk to this right. man oh yeah i want to buy him a rubber made or like a storage yeah. cabinet <laughs> but he's happy over there he's eating Making the bow strings, tuning the bows, talking to people, just crunching away. I'm happy for him. <laughs> um, other than that, I want to play with some B3 sites we looked at that I hadn't. Mm-hmm. It might be, I, I'd have looked them up. It's going it might be a little weaker month or something until they're going to ship them. But yeah, I'm going to play with those. I may try one myself. I love Spot Hog, but I wish, like, and nothing against Bog, but like every two or three years, you got to come out, you got to do something yeah. different. And I feel like <clears throat> they've been sort of the same stuff. But in their defense, they were so backed up. You know, at one point, they were months and months behind yeah. on shipping just what they made, as was everybody else. So I guess now that we're out of that, it's like, all right, let's do something different. Yeah. And I don't know what that would be, but. I don't know either. Because, I mean, you got the single, the double, the double pin, and the triple, triple stack. stack. Even it, yeah, and I guess the triple stack was last year, so that's sort of new. Yeah. Even Black Eagle, I thought maybe they'd come out with a new hunting arrow because it's sort of been the same stuff for quite a while. But and in the in their defense, you know, if I was them, you don't want to get too much crap out there, so you might would have to discontinue something and start. I don't know, but and they've mm-hmm. got a good lineup, sort of a perfect lineup. There's just yeah. enough stuff. Yep. And it's not confusing like some of the other ones are, and it's like. Some of the companies, I just want to pull my hair out because it's like, if it says whatever, SS, it's dealer only. If it's got a red label, it's this, a blue label. If it's got a leprechaun on it, I mean, it's like, good. I, I can't keep up with all this. Make it simple. But yeah. anyway, 
So I'm, I'm excited for the B3 site. I'm I'm curious about the bow doodle rest. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get excited yet because it could be a, a piece, but usually they make good stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, bow doodle has been around yeah. for a long time, so I don't think it's going to be. Yeah. The only thing that I did not like about that rest that I've seen on the video because I didn't see it in person. The gap. Is the launcher arm is a little bit smaller and there's a little bit of a gap yeah. bet- on the retaining bar. So I don't know if it might have just been a prototype that they had out there or and they're going to put a little bit longer launcher arm on it or whatever. But, I mean, I hope it's a good rest because. Yeah. We got a uh, prime, the prime branded Hampski rests in. We got some quivers in this week from them, so. We're slowly getting a few things together from them. Hopefully, we'll get a few Botex in here soon to play with. We were all very impressed with that 34-inch Botex. Mm-hmm. So, that could be the bow. Yep. There's one with my name on it at Botex at the factory. It just it ain't happening yet. We'll get Tim Gillingham to customly <laughs> custom set it up. Yep. i seen an ad where they said the SS34 is the... Bow of the year. I would believe it, to be honest. Out of everything we've shot so far, we got to play with a, uh, the new Matthews in here. What's yeah. It, what's it called? Phase the Phase four. phase 4. I thought it was a good bow. I, I did, mean, too. A few comments about it stacking kind of weird at the back, but I thought it was a pretty pretty dang good bow. I think mm. everybody makes a good bow now. You just got your preferences. That's, you know, I oh, talked yeah. about that the other week. I agree. Um, even, I forget what bow... Chris Gunner mentioned a bow when we was coming back, and I was like, mm, I wasn't that sold on it, but he liked it, but I don't remember what it was now. I don't either. But anyway. Wasn't it the CP30? Mm-mm. No. Charlie was wanting a 28. 28. Yeah. Chris was wanting a 30. Or was Chris wanting a carbon bow? I can't remember. I can't either. But, you know, all the bows out there now, well, Every, we've talked about this before, but every manufacturer, to me, has hit a brick wall. Yeah. I mean... There's well, and most people know they're the few junk manufacturers, I think everybody... I'm not going to name them because we don't want to get into that where we get death threats again to the shop and all that. But, you know, anybody that's been around archery kind of knows the couple that are junk. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> well, we won't say junk, but let's just say not up to par. Yeah. Good, good point. <laughs> but uh, anyway, but there again, everybody has their personal yeah. preference. So you pay enough money. Um, I guess some people shoot the, those bows, <clears throat> and then they ran out of money. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to shoot that expedition. Two thousand dollar bow just to see what it shoots like. I would too. I've never been a huge expedition fan. I don't just for no particular reason, but I'd like to shoot that thing and see. Yep. I don't know, but it's we got weird weather here. It's hot. It's cold. Rainy. Rainy. It rains. It's rained a lot. One day, a couple of days ago, it was like sixty six or seven, and now it's going down to fifty. And I don't know. It's oh. that it's that weird time of the year. Like our state Vegas shoot is this weekend up at Kiwi Bowman, mm-hmm. but people around here, as much as I hate to admit it, just don't shoot indoor. Yep. And I like it, but I hadn't really got into it in quite a while because nobody wants to shoot it. I'm um, good, I'm good as long as we can do about four ends. Other than, after that, I get yeah. my, my ADHD kicks in. I'm ready to go do something else. Yeah. I'm serious. I it, mean, you'll look at TJ and he'll be like, mm, mashed potatoes. <laughs> and it's like, God almighty, what the hell's going on down there? Well, somebody turned the microwave on up there. That's right. You, you turn the microwave on around TJ, he'll piss his pants and forget <laughs> who he is for a half hour. Um, that metal plate. Mm hmm. But nah, the around here, indoor's not huge. And so they're doing that this weekend in three locations up at Kiwi, at Jeffries, and down at the coast. And, uh, is it Jeffries or Midlands? Uh, Jeffries. Okay. Um, so hopefully they have a good turnout. And I do like the way they do it in three spots now because I remember when I did shoot it, you'd have to drive to Columbia sometimes or mm-hmm. people down at the beach would have to drive all the way up to Kiwi Bowman. So it just makes more sense. It does. 
Um, and I hope our South Carolina Archery Association slowly regroups. Yeah, because this went from 15, 20 clubs down to, what, three in the it, we association? Had, we had seven or eight good ones at one time, and then everybody bailed, and this, that, and the other happened. And then we got two or three, and now I think sort of the rebuilding is going to happen. But um, hopefully it works out good because mm-hmm. – I hate not having like every weekend somewhere we could if we want to we can go shoot now it's like hit or miss yeah but two weekends a month pretty much unless we go to which I wouldn't mind going down and shooting Midlands to yeah that because since they've done since it's been revamped I, I reckon you can say yeah wouldn't mind riding down there and shooting one weekend but yeah we gotta scope all that out I just I still think a lot of it has to do, I think tournaments in general or local tournaments need to charge more because when you look at 15 or 20 bucks and all the work that goes in it and all of it, basically if you don't have about five or six or more volunteers that are going to waste a weekend, I hate to say waste, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like spend their weekend or donate their weekend. Right. It's just not going to happen, and then people just get tired of it. It's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lot of money to get the, all the targets to do it, and then you got to have land. And by the time you look at all of it, it's like this is a dud. So, yeah. I really, I, I don't. I mean, I'd be a, a cheering if if it would double what it is, but at least go to twenty five or thirty bucks. And I know there will be people, I wouldn't go if it costs that much. Well, hell, don't go. You know what I mean? You may not want those people anyway. Um, Because we've always said it, people go play golf every weekend and pay a hell of a lot more than that. Yeah. And uh, Well, the targets ain't cheap. That's a big investment. At all, yeah. And if you look at basically breaking even, you know, to have these bigger shoots, if you want to call it that, it just – it's fun for a little while, but then it's like we're just pissing in the wind. So, what is it now? Twenty bucks? Uh, at some places, it's finally went up to twenty. I think. Okay. <clears throat> um, I mean, I wouldn't be against paying twenty five. Yeah, I just think. I don't know. Well, and plus, like right now, depending on the weather, if it's kind of like it was yesterday, which it kind of cooled off today, but. You know, if you get a high fi- mid fifty, high fifty, sixty weekend, mm-hmm. you would have a. You, I mean, Ki- Kiwi and Tab has a good turnout. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, and you know, which we're bad about this when it starts getting eighty, ninety, hundred degrees, we kind of fall off the bandwagon and quit shooting. That's what's so weird around here. It's like from about right now. Right now, it's a little cold. A lot of people won't shoot because it's too cold. But there's like a two or three month span. And then it's too hot. Nobody will shoot. Yeah. And it's like, okay. But uh, the humidity, I think, is what gets people. Probably. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what the answer to all that is. I don't either. But it just seems like it's not like it used to be. Man, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess up north, there's a lot of indoor stuff right now. And then when mm-hmm. spring kind of gets here, then it's 3D season later than ours is. But. Because pretty much all of our stuff stops in the pretty much. It starts getting pretty scarce even in like May, June, June, yeah, May, June, and it's like my lord, that's when used to the hunting boys right around July would want to shoot, 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 right, and but I, for that, deer season, yeah, and they still do in their backyard or just from you know conversations we've had, and it's mm-hmm. like if the right circumstances would work, people would be shooting then, but yeah, people just. And I guess we're getting old, too. Well, and I also, and we've seen this ourselves, titling it Tournament. Yeah. As soon as you put, I don't know what it is, but you put the word Tournament on the back of anything. People and, think 100 people is going to be watching them shoot. And, yeah. And they were trying to explain, no, it's just a bunch of us rednecks walking through the woods, blasting it rubber deer. Yeah. And then if they go to one, it's like, wow. Mm-hmm. But getting, them, getting some people to just show up to one is like, yeah, come on. Well, and I really think, well, we've we've beat the dead horse, but there's nothing else to talk about. But I wish some of these clubs would take a look at what tax doing. I agree, hundred percent. And I, I know mean, some of them may not have the room, but the a, room, lot, of, a yeah. lot of them do. And uh, 
you know, your your hardcore ASA people might bitch or whatever, but like your most bow hunters love that stuff. I mean, you look at TAC. Yeah. <clears throat> remember, even the first year we went, it was pretty small. <laughs> yeah. And now we've had dozens and dozens and dozens of people just come in here and be like, yeah, we went. We're going back and taking 10 more people. And it's six, six and a half hour drive for us. So for a random bow hunter to go that far and do that, mm-hmm. that tells you something. Yeah. And I think I'm not, I've heard rumor that the Tennessee one that they said that if it grows any bigger this year that they might run out of room. I've been hearing that for years. So I don't know if they're full of shit or <laughs> if they just can't find nowhere else. But yeah. I've heard that. And then that remember Georgia, somewhere in Georgia last year, tried to do sort of a mock tack event. Yeah. Well, we heard about it like the week of it and didn't really have time to sort of prepare. But I don't know nothing about it or who it was or I whatever or how it went. But in which Kiwi does one that's around <clears throat> July, the tough man or mm-hmm. something like that, Joey does. Yeah. Um, but it's only 10 target, ain't it? I think so. And it's a lot more tournament related. Like you yeah. do have to have a shoot off and all that. It seems mm-hmm. like a lot of people attack. Well, even us, we don't keep a scorecard attack, but a lot of people don't. It's just more of a for fun, fun walk yeah. around with your buddies and shoot 100 yard targets and. Try not to die. <laughs> um, <laughs> Try not to roll back down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Not run out of water. But uh, anyway, I hadn't heard yet when registration for our for Tennessee Tack will be. I don't know either. I keep watching the Facebook group. Hopefully it won't be like last year. From what I'm seeing, they're, they're doing some kind of queue system to where – you get in and your name goes in a queue and you, and I don't know if it's, you've got to wait until it says, okay, it's your turn to enter all your stuff or who knows. <clears throat> it can't get much worse than it was last year though. Good yeah, God. Had a time last year. It was kicking us off. We had multiple computers and phones trying to log in and <laughs> then they just said, screw it. We're going to cancel it for now. But TJ got us in on that first try. Oh, it was rough. And then I wore the shirt to tag that said, <laughs> I survived tag registration. The one guy at the trailer gave me a go to hell look, but everybody else kind of thought it was funny. Which uh, I will I will say that guy that is on the Facebook group. Mm-hmm, I Rob, mean, yeah. Yeah, he is a jam up guy. I know. If I was him, I'd either be crying or fighting people, but yeah. he's very nice and he, very uh, takes it well. Because I know when it crashed, on, on us i i I'm automatically sent a message and mm-hmm. he sent one back and said we know it's crashed yep. uh just keep trying yep and it finally let me in and i got everybody's stuff i know i know there's a couple people said that they had got to submit the credit card payment and it crashed on them and they don't even because it was in the process of processing their card mm-hmm and they don't know if they had got charged. They didn't get charged, and it was God. so. Hmm. I know they said they're doing away with Tac Pass and the app, which, I mean, I don't get on that app, but it was pretty neat for the people with you know mm-hmm. that love these tags. As far as just, I you mean, could keep score on it and do all kind of stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like its own little archery talk yep. kind of deal, and I thought that was pretty neat, but. You got Facebook, Instagram, and everything else. So yeah, well, I guess we'll get off here. It was I know it's been boring. I, I told them before we started. I was like, I have absolutely nothing to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, we came up with a few things. Nothing. It's been sort of a boring week. Maybe something cool will happen next week. But holler holler at us if you need us. Uh, we'll be here. And if you need a bow package or one setup, we'll be happy to help you. And has anybody heard anything of uh, about who is it, Bomar, with his legal? Did he ever? Yeah, they did something this week. <clears throat> um, they got they charged charged him. It was I forget what the headline read. Like biggest uh, poaching ring and ever. I don't remember. Um, they they got to pay. I forget the exact number, but. Let's just say it was somewhere around twenty something thousand dollars and I think they had to do community service, no jail time yet, but he's also got another charge 
they could send him to jail on something else. Gotcha. So that's all I've seen. But I've never, honest to God, I don't know anything about the Bomars. <clears throat> very, very briefly, when those nose button things came out, you know, I kind of figured out who he was. And then I've never, I mean, I, nothing against him. I don't know nothing about the guy. I've never watched none of his stuff. Or mm-hmm. I know, don't they sell like supplements or something? I don't, oh, I, I have no idea. I don't know nothing about him. But this was a very big deal. So, kind of like the Chris Brackett deal a few yeah. years back, but supposedly like that times fifty or something. So, okay. I, like I said, I well, I, can't... I knew people were all like, "Oh my God!" And, but I didn't know nothing about it. But reading that article, like it was a several state deal or something. Okay. I don't know. With, I don't with multiple people, and I, I have to read up on it because I'm completely uneducated on what went down. But it sounds I... like he's a dumbass, is what it sounds like. <laughs> I have no <clears throat> clue. I ain't. I didn't even. I just knew that he'd gotten some trouble for some kind of hunting related. He got a hunting related charge. Is all I'd heard. And you know how the internet is. Right. You can't believe everything that you read on there. And I, I, ne- like, I need to research it because other than reading that article the other day, and it was a lot bigger deal than I thought it was. You gotcha. Know, and so uh, I don't. Other than that, I don't know anything. I'll have to do some research on it myself. If y'all want to. Tell us in the comments what's going on. Um, But we'll see y'all next week. Yep. Appreciate y'all. And that's it. Podcast is over.